one quick thing I missed in my last video about grounded grounded grids and um, triodes and all that and floating grids is one thing I like about the SV220 amplifier, right? Uh, I say it's not my favorite amplifier. It's an SSB amplifier. It's not well built. Uh, it's economically, whew, I'm not even going to try to say that word again. Um, built. One thing I do like is the cooling with the fan. It's got a big fan in it. Oh, open frame plan. And then it's open down here. And some of the fan, the impeller, blows here on the tube pins. It keeps the tube pins relatively cool compared to other 3500Z amplifiers. Not the best. The best is like the Drake L4B where they use um, forced air cooling. Where um, it's a blower underneath, it's sealed, and then it blows the air up through the pins from the bottom, up through the top, and then out the plate. That's the best. However, that's expensive. Um, amplifier builders want to save money. However, I think this is a good idea that Heath could use. A big fan. It uh, actually has some airflow, blows on the pins, help cools the, uh, the uh, pins. One of the huge problems that Black Hat had, and some others, they did not have any kind of cooling on the uh, pins of the tube. These pins run 15 amps. Well, not the pins. The tube itself is 15 amps of filament coming up through this choke and into the tube pins. And what happens is you got 15 amps of heat. You got the tube, you know, conducting 500 watts of heat. You got a whole bunch of heat on these tube pins. The tube pins expand, contract. They got the 15 amps coming in. They got the heat coming in. And then there's no cooling on the tube pins. All the cooling on many uh, 3500 amps that are fan cooled. All the cooling is up top. So the, the uh, tube pins start melting out the solder and melting and you don't get a good connection and then you have a, a problem there, right? So he could at least address that with cooling the pins of the tube and over here if I could zoom in that's the um, that's a uh, Black Hat JB2000 carcass right there fan on the top nothing underneath to cool them tube pins and the JB2000 was notorious notorious for uh, blowing or having problems and glitches and blowing out the solder of the tube pins all because they didn't have enough cooling for it. Um, Drake L4B with the um, forced air cooling, again, a fan, not a fan, a blower, a plenum, forced air, you know, pressurized down here, blew up through the tubes, uh, had much, 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 much less of a problem with the uh, tube fin, tube pin cooling and all that. All right, that's it for this one.